This video clip is mainly to allow my class to complete their notes on solving inequalities, um, but it also gives you five questions to try to solve uh, some inequalities that are reasonably complicated, and uh, we'll, we'll get started. I'll try and make the video as short as possible, but um, we'll, we'll get through this and I'll show you the working for each of the questions. Now, when we come to the questions, what I'd like you to do is just uh, try and freeze the video, try and solve it yourself, and um, see how the, the solutions come out when I'm completed them. Okay, so solving inequalities. So an inequality is uh, just really the same as a, an equation, but instead of being uh, having the uh, equal sign, it contains um, either a greater than sign, a less than sign, a greater than or equal to sign, or a less than or equal to sign. Okay. When we're working through the questions here, there'll be, there'll be a number of them that we will have to divide one of the sides by a negative and there's something special that we have to do in that case and we need to reverse the sign around so it has to point in the other direction. So let's do the first one. The first one um, is uh, solving the first inequality. So here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and use a kind of balancing method to balance the inequality or the way that we would use to balance an equation. So first thing that I can see here is I want all the letters on the left hand side and all the numbers on the right hand side. Okay, so first thing I'm going to try and get uh, moving away. I don't want this two here, so the way I'm going to form this is I'm going to take two away from that side and this side of the inequality, I'm going to take away two from that side. So I want to do that, these are going to disappear it will just leave me with 5x on this side, um, a greater than or equal to sine. I've got the 8x here, and that will now be minus 18. So just be careful with your negative numbers here as well. So I'll minus 16, take away another 2. That will give us uh, minus 18. Right, next thing I want to move, I want to get all the lettered items to, to the left-hand side. So I want to take 8x away from this side here. What that will do is it will get rid of this um, term here, um, but I'll have to take 8x away from this side. So what that should give me is minus 3x is greater than or equal to, and all I've left on the right hand side is minus 18. Right now what we're going to do is, so this is a key part here, usually what we do with the equations, I would write uh, x is equal to, I'm going to leave the sign just now, it would be whatever's over on the right hand side, minus 18 divided by minus 3. But uh, we need to follow that special rule that if we're going to divide by a negative, okay, it's only if we're dividing by a negative, we need to reverse that sign around. So instead of pointing to the right, it's now pointing to the left, okay? So finally, if I've got minus 18 divided by minus 3, so the negatives will cancel out. That will give me 3 into 18 gives me 6. Okay, so there's my solution to this question here. So what we've got is x is less than or equal to 6. Okay, so that's that inequality solved. I'm going to go through the next ones a bit quicker, but that's the same method that I'm going to try and follow for, for these ones. We could also um, make the, in, the x terms on the right hand side Sometimes then, you know, that, that makes it a bit more complex sometimes, but uh, we're going to just follow this format as we go along. Let's go for it. Right, the second question here. Right, when I get something that looks like this here, I've got an inequality sign there, got a bracketed term to the right, I'm going to just multiply the bracket out first. So I've got 5x minus 4 is less than 2 minus 4x. Remember, just freeze the video and try it yourself and then come back to it. First thing I want to get rid of is that minus 4 on that side. So I'm going to add 4 onto this side here. That will eliminate that term there. But on this side here of the inequality, I'm going to have to add 4 on as well. So that leaves me with 5x is less than, when I gather them together, I've got 6 minus 4x that's there. Right, next thing I want to remove uh, is this one here. So I'm going to add 4x on there, which will eliminate this. I've got to add 4x on the other side of the inequality. So that should give me 9x at this side, 
is less than, and all I've got here is just 6. I'll then divide by 9. So x is less than 6 over 9. I'm not changing the sign around because it's not a negative number that I'm dividing by. So finally, if I simplify that fraction down, I've got 2 over 3. So x is less than 2 thirds. So that's question number 2. Question 3. Okay. So 3 of 5 it is. So question 3. What we're looking at is another bracketed term here. Be careful of this one because uh, I can see there's a, a negative outside there. So just imagine that's a negative 1. And all we're going to do is multiply the bracket out by negative 1. So let's multiply the bracket out first. 2y is less than 3. Multiplying the bracket out, that will give me minus y. And that will give me minus 6. What we'll do first of all, I'm going to gather these numbers together. So I've got 2y is less than, so 3 minus 6 is minus 3, and I've got minus y still sitting there. Now I want to get rid of this minus y, so I'm going to add y to that side, and y to that side. So this will be eliminated. So what I have is 3y is less than minus 3. For here, I'm going to then divide by the 3 that's there. Because it's a positive number I'm dividing by, I'm going to leave the sign as it is. Finally, simplifying that down, if I've only got one negative sign, it's going to be a negative answer, so 3 divided by 3 is 1. So y is less than minus 1. Okay, question 4. Freeze the video, try it, and see, see what answer I come up with. Right, so I'm multiplying the bracket out first. 5 minus x on the left, and I've got 2x plus 2 on the right. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of the 5 that's here. So I'm going to take 5 from that side. So I'll take 5 from this side here. So that leaves me with minus x. So that's minus 1x, remember. It's greater than 2x. And that's going to work out to be minus 3 when I gather these terms together. And this term's eliminated on this side here. I want to remove that 2x from there. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to take away 2x from there, which will eliminate that. And I'm going to add, uh, phew, same again, take 2x away from that side. That'll be, that'll be that there. So let's see what we get. So I've got minus 1x, take away another 2x. That'll be minus 3x there. Greater than sign. And all I've got left on this side would be the minus 3. So what I'll then do is I'm going to divide by a negative. So at this point here, I need to really think about it. So x, I've got minus 3 divided by this minus 3 that's here, and I'm going to change the sign round the other way there. So what I've then got is x is less than, now minus 3 divided by minus 3, the two minuses make a positive, 3 divided by 3 is 1, so x is less than 1. Right, last question, here we go. Right, for this one here, I'm going to multiply the bracket out first of all. So I have 11, take away 2, and I've got to take away 6x. That's less than 39. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather these numbers together first of all. So that'll give me 9 minus 6x is less than 39. Next, I want to get that uh, 9 uh, over to the right-hand side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 9 away from this side, which eliminates that 9. And I'll take 9 away from this side here, which will leave me with minus 6x is less than, and that's going to be 30. That's going to be there once I take the, the 9 away from the 39. Then I'm going to divide by a negative again. So remember what we have to do here. We've got x, we've got 30, and I'm dividing by the minus 6. I'm going to change the sign round the other way, so it's going to point the other way. So x is greater than, so I've got one negative, so I know it's going to be a negative answer. 30 divided by 6 is 5, so x is greater than 5. Okay, so that'll allow you to, to try some more of the questions that uh, that'll give you out in uh, one of your worksheets. And uh, hopefully that made some sense for you. Be very careful with um, switching the sign round when you divide by a negative. Okay, so hope that was okay with your um, solving.
uh, inequalities. Okay, and that's 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 all for this video.